I'm at Ormskirt station and this is where Northern meets Mersey Rail. You have to get off the Northern train to get onto a Mersey Rail unit to get yourself into Liverpool Central, Liverpool Lamb Street. This station is quite unique because of the fact that it has two platforms but it's actually just one very long platform. Platform 1 being for the Mersey Rail service and Platform 2 being for the Northern service. Another great feature as well that on this platform itself you can see the dividing line that separates the, the frontier that separates Northern Rail from Mersey Rail. station on the Liverpool Mersey Rail network. Now I've got to get off here and make my way onto the Wirral line which brings you into Liverpool Lime Street. One thing I forgot to mention when I was at Ormskirk that the trains that run on this system have a third rail and the third rail which runs along here is electrified so all the units on this system here around Liverpool get their juice from that third rail. using my camera phone now. I've just gone to Liverpool Lime Street to do a vlog about the upgrade there and uh, been kicked off. I should contact Network Rail and seek permission. It's not on that really. I went to sign in and got thrown out. I mean, not exactly doing any harm. Never had any problems before by getting on at stations and that rule of thumb, I always go to the station manager and sign in. I always bring a busy vest, but I'm in the public area. So I'm going to have to look into that because I don't actually think I was doing anything wrong and I've done stuff for, for Network Rail before when I've been on the Blackpool line. So it's taken me about two and a half hours to get from Blackpool to Liverpool Lime Street but there's a boat being launched today so I've decided as my Mersey Rail ticket allows me to use the whole network today cost me £5.40 or £5.20 I'm going to catch the Chester train that stops at Rock Ferry to see if I can see the ship being launched and I've only got half an hour to get there but according to the board it should take 11 minutes on this train so I'll change the plan see what happens that's my train so I've got the train now making way towards Camel Laird. I'm going to go down and have a look, see about the ship being launched. Something quite different. Quite neat to see. Five, four, three, two, one, launch. So that was a stroke of luck. This was a ticket only event. And I got to the gates and the guys there 
decided to let me in and get really close up to that boat being launched. Absolutely fantastic. So I was pretty down because of Liverpool Lime Street and I couldn't get on. But I got here just in time. What a great capture to get. So David Attenborough and the man himself was there. I suppose I've got to go back to Blackpool now and do the vlog about Liverpool Lime Street. <laughs> I've just arrived back at Preston Station. I'm going to get the Blackpool South train back home. And I noticed over in the sidings there to my right. The Pete. next train to arrive at Platform 4 will be the Thank you. West Coast Railways Peter Pan stayed over here. E3137. It was here last time when I came for the. Um, Flying Scotsman. I'm landing back at Kirk and Wesham. You can hear me rustling my papers. I've got my notes on. Now Liverpool Lime Street Station is currently going under a major transformation. It's biggest upgrade since the 19th century. And they finished in a couple of weeks, the 29th of July. Upgrades to the platform, the track, the signalling equipment will enable faster, more frequent and more reliable train services. 